This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so let me quickly recap that what we discussed in the previous session. Then we'll proceed ahead. So basically in our previous session, we talked about like, you know, this core administration configuration. And as part of the core administration configuration, we talked about like uh, the configuration of the user setup. So how basically we have to set up the users in the uh, like uh, downstream, that's something we discussed. And uh, we talked about like approval, like uh, lookup table file mapping, like uh, update as well. So in some cases we have to basically like, you know, that uh, update our file, like whatever the file we have used in the approval lookup table. How we can update the file, that's something we've seen in that in the previous session. Like in that case, we have to go in the customizer manager and we have to perform like, you know, this upload process lookup table, that's something we've seen there. And apart from that, we discussed about like, you know, this uh, like supplier manager configuration in the previous session. And we talked about like supplier configuration in downstream. So in some cases, like we have to set up our supplier information in downstream how basically we can set up and uh, what is the requirement of the uh, like the supplier setup and even what is the supplier process how it will basically work so in case if your customer they have the Ariba SLP and uh, you have the integration with not Ariba SLP you have the Ariba complete Ariba solution and you have the integration with the S like SAP ERP so in that case how supplier will flow from SLP to uh, like uh, Ariba buying and invoicing that's something we discussed in the previous session right so now basically in uh, we we have to talk about like you know that next configuration that is that like you know commodity code manager configuration so basically with the help of the commodity code manager configuration what we can do even we discussed about the scenario so generally we are doing the, doing this uh, partitions commodity code mapping configuration here so inside the commodity code manager we can see we have the two option one is the partitions commodity code and second is the partitions commodity code mapping configuration so in this case, so what basically we have to do, so partitions commodity code is nothing that is your SAP material group. So in some cases, like let's say your customer, they have the Ariba like uh, ERP, uh, sorry, they have the Ariba buying and invoicing solutions and that is integrated with the SAP ERP. So in this case, so what is happening, like whatever the particular transactional data you will create in the Ariba, that's something you are expecting, like it should be available in the SAP ERP itself, right? So if you see the data information, like whatever the data we have to enter whenever we are creating any purchase requisition in the Ariba. So like we have to enter like plant information uh, about the uh, product information, quantity and price and including like a commodity code as well, right? So these are the different kind of information we have to basically provide. And apart from that, same way, whenever we are creating the requisition in the SAP ERP, so in SAP ERP also, we have to provide similar kind of information, but in SAP ERP, like we don't have the commodity code, we have basically that material group in the SAP ERP, right? So what is happening in case of the integration? So whenever like, you know, we are integrating our solutions, like, uh, you know, our transactions with SAP ERP. So let's say, for example, we have created one purchase equation and uh, in the Ariba, and the purchase requisition supposed to like you know that uh, reflect in the SAP ERP. So when the PR information will go to like you know ERP integration touch point. So our ERP system will try to find out the ERP relevant information. So if you talk about the ERP relevant information, so whatever we discussed like plant company code, and we can say basically quantity price, that's something information. Definitely system will try to find out. But apart from that, system will try to find out the material group value like what is the material group like you know that is uh, associated with that requisition but since in that case in the sap ariba we don't have that material group concept we have the sap er like commodity code uh, concept so sap erp system will not understand the commodity code and in that case the purchase requisition will not be created successfully in the erp and definitely the system will uh, like you know that send that error information like please provide that material group in that PR, right so in that case, uh, in that case, in that case, like you know, that purchase equation will not be will not be created like in SAP ERP. So same way, like you know, that what happens same way, if you are creating the PR in the ERP, and from basically ERP, you are sending the PR to Ariba. So in Ariba also, like when the information reach to Ariba, so Ariba system will try to find out the commodity. 
but in case of that in that case is that like you know in erp pr we don't have the commodity code we have the metal group so in that case as well our purchase request will not be created in the anchor right and system will raise the exception about like you know missing the commodity missing of the commodity code right so this is a scenario generally we are facing so how like you know we can uh, like tackle this kind of like requirement how we can basically uh, you know that meet this kind of requirement so that like whenever you will communicate any information like any transitional information from Ariba to ERP or from ERP to Ariba so system should not raise any error and it should create document successfully so how basically system will add, like what we can do in that case so in that case only we have to work with that like you know partitions commodity code and partitions commodity code mapping right even not only this so whatever configuration we are going to discuss not only this even Ariba has simplified like you know this thing as well in the Ariba ERP Ariba side itself so what is happening whenever we are basically creating any of this like you know that uh, uh, purchase requisition so a system has basically added that metal group field by default so the user will have the visibility like whatever the commodity code he will select so based on this like partitions commodity code mapping system will automatically display like what is that relevant metal group even though the metal group field will, will do, we don't have to use in the Ariba because in the Ariba we have to work only with the commodity code. But this metal group field information is only for the information purpose to the business user and they can easily understand like okay I am selecting the commodity code A. So in that case our metal group basically in the ERP is B. So A equal to B. So in case if this PR will go to ERP. So in ERP we will have the commodity like a metal group B. Uh, but whereas in the Ariba, we will have the commodity code as A. So that's some information will be available to the business user. And in some cases, if they want to do some changes, they can do some changes as well. Right. So overall, like what we have to do in this case, we have to do one to one mapping. So we have to basically map our ERP commodity code or we can say ERP metal group with the Ariba commodity code. So we have to basically perform a one to one mapping here and how we can do mapping. So mapping we have to do with the help of the partitions commodity code map okay so in the first what we have to do we have to come here in the partitions commodity code and uh, this activity generally we have to perform with the help of this data import and export i'll show you the file as well in few minutes so here we have to basically uh, upload the list of metal group so whatever that list of metal group is there in the sap erp those metal groups we have to upload in the uh, Ariba. So whatever metal group we can see here as partitions commodity code this is nothing this is your material group so in the first activity we have to import like list of metal group in the ariba and once you will have the metal group so then basically we have to perform the mapping of the partitions commodity code and in the partitions commodity code we have to basically perform one to one mapping with ariba commodity code versus your partitions commodity code that is your erp material group and one more thing so here only we are not doing only mapping like you know with the Ariba commodity code and the ERP metal group so apart from this like we can also control some other parameter as well so whatever the other parameter we can control with the help of the partitions commodity code map let's see I'll show you quickly here so we can see we are basically in the different system and I'm trying to create one like a non catalog item here even same thing you will see you can see in the catalog item as well it's not only applicable for non catalog item so when we come here and here let's we can see so we have to first specify our requirement so that means whatever the item you want to purchase we can come here and we can provide this information here right now after this we can see we have the commodity code and we have the metal group and apart from that if you see we have the account type we have the item category and all the four fields are blank as of now right now what i will do i will come here so i will choose one commodity code even if you want to choose with, if you want to work with that metal group you can work with the metal group it's not mandatory we have to only select the commodity code here you, you, you can skip the commodity code selection and you can only select the metal group so even with the help of the metal group selection as well the system will determine commodity code here so let's say for example this time i'm going to select here something like one commodity code and i will take the commodity code let's say manual pencil sharpener right so i'll come here and i will select this uh, commodity code as a manual pencil sharpener and you can see once we selected this commodity code the system automatically fill the information of like you know metal group account type and the item category 
so the question is that how system determine this information like how by selecting this commodity code how system determines the information about metal group about that account type about the item item uh, like sorry item category how system determines so system determines with the help of this partitions commodity code match so this is something the control parameter like we can control like you know that with the help of the partitions commodity code match right even in other cases like let's say now due to some reason i am thinking whatever the metal group system like you know defaulted here based on the mapping that's something metal group is not correct and i want to change the metal group so i can come here and i can take any of the other metal group so let's say i'm going to take the exhaust so once i will take exhaust so it's what system will do system will automatically update this account type and item category even commodity code as well so we can see earlier we have selected the commodity code manual pencil sharpener but now this time it is showing here cleaning equipment and supply right so how system determine this information system it determine this information with the help of the partitions commodity code mapping right so this is the scope like why we have to perform this activity so now basically if you want to perform this activity i'll show you file how basically we have to do with the help of the file so whenever we have to perform this like you know, mapping so we have to come in the partitions commodity code map even though ariba has given the option as create new like if you want to perform like you know, manually we can do but generally we are not doing it this activity manually because if you see we will not have only a few list of the metal group you will have a huge list of the metal group right so for that purpose we have to use a file for a file like data import and export but in some cases if you want to like you know perform this activity here manually you can come here and click on the create new and once we click on the create new then system will give you this form and in this form we have to provide some information here like we have to give the commodity code description so whatever commodity code description so in this case we will not be able to map with the help of the commodity code commodity code and the metal group so in this case we have we will have the option to map mapping with the description so you have to select one commodity code description and we have to select the partitions commodity code description as well like we are going to tell to system this housekeeping expense expenses is equal to the it so that's some the information we have to provide here now apart from this we can enter any of the account type whatever account type is applicable we can choose account type even not only some account type or some few specific information we have some other options as well like commodity code gl asset internal order project wbs item category account category ship to minimum amount max amount so different different informations are available here so whatever the information that basically is relevant for you that we can specify but generally we are we are not providing all the information here because all the other accounting information if you see like company code general ledger internal order asset this information will come from the user profile so here basically we have to only specify some like uh, you know that uh, specific information like item category account type uh, so this kind of information we have to provide here so either we can perform this activity manually here or apart from this if you want to perform this activity with the help of data import and export that's something also we can do so for that we have to come in the site manager data import and export so once we come here in data import and export here you will have the uh, like file so we have to search the file with the help of the commodity name here you can type the task here as a commodity name task like sorry task name as a commodity and click on the search then system will display you the list of tasks like whatever tasks are relevant to the commodity code so here if you come so in the export you if you see so we have basically two tasks like we have to perform in these cases so one task we have to perform here like uh, one is basically import erp commodity code so whatever task you can see here like erp commodity code this task is responsible like you know to import your list of metal group like you know in the sap ariba and second task is that import erp commodity to commodity mapping so this task is responsible for the mapping so these two tasks basically we have to perform so we have to come here and we have to go to export so what will happen if you come to the export and here we can see we have this export file that is the export yeah sorry sorry this is a file export erp commodity code 
So when we come here, here we can see this is our file export ERP commodity code. And once we come here and click on the export, then system will basically extract the list of the like you know metal group, whatever is available in the SAP ERP. So you will able to see the list of metal group here. So it will download the file. Okay, like here we can see. So even though we have basically exported the ERP commodity code, but we can see once file getting downloaded, we can see the file name that is the partitions commodity code export. So ERP commodity code is nothing that is your partitions commodity code. And even if you open this file, you will able to see this information like we have description, unique name, and the name. Even if any one of you is aware about material group configuration in SAP ERP. So whenever we are creating material group, we have to provide only this information like material group code like a, a description and the long text right so only three three information we have to provide and same information we can see here itself so this is your erp like you know that material group now apart from this if you come here and if you open the other task file that is basically about the mapping so here we can see we have the export erp commodity to commodity mapping right so when we come here so if you export this particular file so let me export this Okay, so we can see this time basically this file is exported like commodity, commodity export map export. If I'll open this file and here you will be able to see the information about your commodity code mapping. So if you see here, so we have basically our one column that is our column E. So we can see in the column E we have that metal group information. So here basically you will have information about that metal group right in the column e and apart from that if you go to right let me show you, let me copy the commodity code here so here we have the commodity code so if i'll come here insert copy shift so we can see this is the two column is very important column e and column f so in the column E, you will have that your metal group information and in the column F, you will have that like uh, your commodity code information. So these two information will be available here. So like this mapping, we have to do one to one. Now here, if you see one to zero one, so one to zero one is equal to, like system will basically understand one to zero one is equal to four three one nine one six three, right? So what will happen like whenever you will select like the commodity code as like, you know, four three one nine, uh, 1631 the system will automatically determine the metal group as that like 120 so like that mapping basically we have to provide and apart from that we have the same information whatever we discussed earlier like we can specify gl account if required about relevant to the company code we can specify the item category we have to provide that account type here commodity code name domain basically you will be the un spsc so you know un spsc is that like a standard organization and they are allocating some unique code as a commodity code depending on the product hierarchy so whatever the product hierarchy you have accordingly they will basically allocate so this is a global site and you can download the list of commodity code uh, you can also say this is also called as a un spsc code as well we can download from the un spsc website itself right so apart from this we can see we have some different other information like deliver to company code mini amount like you know, same information we can see so if you want to provide this information we can provide or else if you want to skip you can skip this of mandatory itself so these are the information we have to provide here and okay so this information we have to basically provide here now once you provide all the information then basically we have to come here and we have to like you know import that task key file here so like this we have to basically perform the partitions commodity code mapping any question any question from anyone okay so now basically in the next we have the catalog manager configuration 
so catalog manager configuration is a very important and with the help of the catalog manager configuration like you know that uh, we can basically create the list of the catalog in the sap arriba so we'll talk about like you know list of the catalog or whatever catalog we have to basically create here so but can you please give me just two minutes guys i'm getting like you know one important task so can you please give me two minutes yeah sure i'll back in i'll back in two minutes Sorry, I'm back now. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So now basically we have the catalog manager manager configuration here. And uh, with the help of this catalog manager configuration, like you know, that we can configure, like you know, that uh, uh, you know, like basically list of the catalog. So, whatever different kind of catalog, that's something basically we seen that in the previous session during our P2P session. Like, uh, if you come here, and if I'll try to show you. Like, let's say I'm going to create one, I'm going to search one item here. like this so whatever different kind of item you information we can see these are basically catalog information right so different different catalog we can see so how basically we can create this catalog so this catalog we can create with the help of this like a catalog manager so if you have the above permission of the catalog manager so with the help of the catalog manager we can config we can create the different kind of catalog so whatever different kind of catalog you want to basically create as a standard catalog or punch out catalog that's something we can create with the help of the catalog manager but thing is that like you know sometimes what happen like uh, if you will say like we can create so we can create means who will create buyer or supplier so if you see so in some cases like a buyer they want to create by themselves so they can basically create by themselves they can create manually or even they have some automation approach as well they can use the automation approach and they can create automatically right Otherwise, in some cases, some of the customer, they will say, oh, why we have to create as a buyer? Because if you talk about the source of information, so source of information, we can only get from the supplier. Because supplier is aware of what is that, like uh, detail, detail information about the product, name of the product, right? What is the price? What is supplier part number? Who is the manufacturer? And in how, how, much, how long he will take as the, for deliver? That is plan delivery time. So this information we can only get from the uh, supplier itself. 
So since whenever we have to create the catalog manually in the, our Ariba solutions, and we have so in that case also we have to reach out to supplier. We have to ask to, to, to them like please provide all the information to us, and then basically we'll create the catalog. So some of the customer will say why why we have to like we have to put our effort there, or why we have to like uh, allocate one dedicated dedicated resource here to manage the catalog in the buyer side. Why not we can basically do something so we can like we can basically give this responsibility to supplier and supplier can create the catalog whatever catalog they are basically uh, that is they, that are in their scope they can create in their Ariva network supplier portal and when, whenever we have to purchase any item we can purchase the item from the that that catalog itself right so in some cases you may like get this kind of requirement as well from the customer so yes Ariva has given this options as well. So first thing, like as a buyer, if you want to maintain, if you want to create this catalog information in your system, you can basically create by yourself, right? So you can take the responsibility, like yeah, as a customer, as a buyer, I will create the catalog in my system. Otherwise, in some cases, you are thinking, uh, like as a customer, we don't want to take this ownership to create the catalog in buyer system. What we will do, we'll give this like uh, delegation to the supplier. And supplier will create the catalog in their Ariba network supplier portal. But whatever the catalog they will create in their supplier portal, those catalog information system should automatically synchronize in the buyer portal. And in buyer, buyer system, this catalog information should automatically get created. So Ariba has given this option as well. So one option you can create manually by yourself. Second option is that you can synchronize the catalog information from the Ariba network supplier portal. This is the second option. Apart from that, like in some other cases uh, that is basically relevant to the ERP integration. So in some cases, like your customer, they have the ERP integration and might be uh, the customer, they have the requirement to link their ERP, mat ERP material, material code with the catalog. So even in some, ca some cases, you may see this scenario as well, like whatever the catalog information we can see here, your customer he want to see metal master code like whatever the metal master code is here and for that material in the sap erp and if they have any info record number they want to see any info record number here itself right so this option is also available this is something some in this case we have some customization i'm just sharing you this knowledge only for information purpose i'll not be able to show you but at least you should have the in, this information and might be in coming uh, in future if you get a chance to work on this so at least you should have clue, some clue like yes this is also possible so in that cases like you know we have the flexibility like we get we have to do some integration catalog integration uh, from sap erp to ariba itself and in this case like you know that we, system will create the catalog that means we have to create the catalog like with the reference of the erp in data so erp data in the sense like whatever whatever the metal master is available in the sap erp and again that metal master or whatever info record is here whatever the source list is here right and whatever the purchase order is here so with the reference and even you have me you may have the contract as well in the erp so with the reference to that like if you want to create like you know any of the catalog in the ariba that's something also we can do so even though in that case you may have to do some customization as well but ariba has given one standard program for that that program name is ARBCIG underscore buyer underscore catalog export and with the help of that like uh, so in that one basically Ariba has given some inbuilt like in logic and logic is that like system will automatically extract the list of the catalog information like whatever information the system required to create the, create the catalog those information will automatically be extracted from your like a material master source list uh, you know purchasing info record contract and from purchase order itself and based on that system will automatically create one file and that file we have to basically upload in the Ariba to create the catalog so that's something option is also available here like available in the Ariba so whatever the option that your customer they want to basically you know uh, use they can basically use any of the particular option okay so apart from that uh, we have others one more scenario so again, I'm, re I'm repeating this scenario. I'm just explaining you only for your information purpose. I'll not be able to explore because I don't have that basically integrated system. 
but because, but as a ariba consultant we should have we should have some this kind of knowledge and definitely it will help you now the last option is that what we can do we can basically create the catalog in the ariba but uh, some of the customer they would not like to perform the purchasing activity in the ariba itself so they will only subscribe they will only purchase uh, like ariba catalog module just to create the catalog how they want to create the catalog like from supplier uh, like by choosing by siphonizing uh, from supplier or manually in the ariba port, uh, like buying solutions how they want to create they can create but they want to basically pull the catalog information like you know while creating that like uh, you know that uh, purchase request in the sap erp so this kind of scenario also you may see like you know that catalog is available in the sap ariba but your customer they are basically going to they are creating the purchase request in the sap erp and they want to pull the catalog information in the sap erp so that's something uh, that solutions is also available like uh, ariba has given this uh, functionality as well to the customer and that is called as a open catalog interface oci so if your customer they want to use oci functionality like open catalog interface that's something also we can enable of course we have to basically perform some different setup in that cases but in that cases what will happen like uh, by creating the purchase request in the sap erp customer can punch in in that ariba site and they can pull the catalog information right so like that you, you may get different different kind of scenarios like to maintain the catalog and their uses and uh, right now basically we are, will talk about like you know, these two options itself like one option how we can basically create catalog manually in the sap ariba and second option we'll discuss like whatever the parameter we have to set up like if customer they want to synchronize catalog information from supplier portal to the buyer portal buyer side that's something we'll discuss and even sometime during interview you may get this kind of questions as well like if customer they have the requirement to uh, synchronize catalog information from ariba network supplier portal to buyer side so what configuration we have to do so we'll talk about some of the setup whatever we have to do so but before going ahead any question any comment are you guys following me am i clear to everyone okay i'm fine thank you so now basically once we come here in the catalog manager and we have to come in the catalog option here and once we come in the catalog option so here like you will be able to see the list of catalog so whatever different kind of like in a catalog that is there in your system you will able to see the different kind of catalog here so here we can see like you know we have the list of the catalog whatever different kind of catalog that is basically created in your system so you will able to see this kind of screen and here we can see like first column is a from supplier that means against the supplier the catalog is created you will able you will able to see supply information and whatever that like you know subscription name is there so we can say it's a kind of catalog name itself so whatever subscription name is there that information you will able to see and what is the version and what is basically load mode so either it is created or it is updated that's some information you will able to see as a load mode and you will have basically the status as well so what is the status of your catalog so either your catalog is activated or your catalog is basically like you know the deactivated or it is available in the error status so whatever different kind of status will be there you will able to see the status here and you will also have the information about number of items so while creating one cat like creating the catalog we can basically include different kind of items as well in that file we will talk about the file in some time so in that case we have to we will able to see number of items as well and you will able to see last modified date and time stamp as well so like that different different kind of informations are basically available here so here you will able to see like you know that list of the available catalog whatever catalog is there in your system in your customer side and along with their status right apart from that if you come downside we can see we have some other information like we can see compare version so in some cases like for example we can see for this uh, catalog so we can see for this catalog we have the version 3 right so whatever the version we had like v1 v2 and v3 you want to do any kind like a comparison in the versions like whatever changes is there we can compare the version send for the approval so you want to if you want to send any catalog manually for the approval you can hit come here and hit send for approval 
activate if you want to activate manually deactivate basically in some cases if you want to deactivate like any of the catalog delete a version to delete the delete the version and delete subscription if you want to delete the entire subscription itself preview if you want to see as a preview delete preview and force approve so force approve in some cases if your catalog status is stuck in the approving status even though you tr you try to approve it and even though you approved it but still the catalog status is showing as a like you know approving so in that case you can come here and you can approve the catalog forcefully so like that different different options are basically available here so what is happening like whenever we have to create the catalog in the sap ariba so we have to basically work on the some files we'll talk about the files in some time and that file basically we have to import in the ariba so whenever we have to create any kind of new catalog so we have to come here and here you will have the option of this import new catalog so we have to basically click on this option import new catalog and then system will give you one form and we have to basically provide a few information on uh, like you know, in the form and then we have to upload our file and whatever the file is applicable uh, sorry whatever the file you have prepared that file we have to upload here in uh, like you know, to create the new catalog so once we create our once we upload the file and uh, you start the importing the file uh, file activity file information then system will basically give you the status of your catalog as new to buyer so new to buyer status is basically that means you are going, the information arrives here in the system and it's completely new for the system so it will keep the status as new to buyer and after some time the system will start validating the information and it will validate all the information depending on your system configuration so whatever the information you have in the file and whatever information that system is basically expecting so system will like uh, perform the, all the validation and based on the validation if validation will be successful then you will able to see the status as like you know like uh, basically in approval or you will able to see the status as activating or activated something like that or in some cases what happen like when we are importing our file and due to some reason like uh, uh, during the validation the system has encountered some discrepancy right our system has encountered some error so in that case you will able to see the catalog status as the error status so whenever you will have the error status catalog so in that case like you know that you, uh, basically we have to uh, analyze that error and we have to find out the cause of the error like what is the like cause of that error and accordingly we have to basically work on that error part so we have to basically fix the error and once again we have to like you know that uh, we have to import the file in the ariba again so how basically we can we have to work on the error like you know status catalog how we can do the investigation and whatever things we have to basically do in that cases so whenever like you know that you will come here and whenever you will see any of this error status catalog so actually in this system we don't have any such catalog like you know with the error status earlier it was there but someone made some changes here someone means it seems ariba customer support they do some they did some changes and even they did like you know in a single date and time you can see all the information migrated on 3rd of june 3rd of june something like that right so all the catalog is available as a activated status or some of the deactivated let me just log in in the different system i'll try to show you that error status information because it's really very interesting and we should know okay meanwhile if you want to ask something or if you have any question you can ask I'm just trying to log in. Give me two more two more minutes.
in just a moment. I think uh, this will help us. Okay. So I just logged in in the different system and I opened the same catalog options here. And here we can see we have different status of this catalog. So in some cases we can see activated and in some cases we can see we have the validation error here. So whenever you will get this kind of like status as a validation error, that means the status will be in the error status. So we had to work on that like you know error status, and we had to first investigate that error information, and based on that like nature of the error, we have to fix that error. So the thing is that how we can do the investigation of this error. So to if for the, to investigate this error details, Ariba has given basically very good in like you know error handling tool for the catalog. And if you want to use that tool, we have to come here and we have to click on the status here. So we have to come here and click on the status. So once we click on this status, then system will basically give you this options here. So whatever different kind of options we can see, you will able to you will get this kind of options, right? And here we can see basically you will have different options here. Like we can see basically we have different tools, and we have the tools as like you know this edit code uh, fix error tool, right? And we have basically edit content tool. We have this rewilded tool, filter tool, and even we have basically import and import tool and export tool as well. So whenever we have to do any kind of investigation, we have to come here and we have to first click on this, like you know, fix error tool. So once we come here and click on this fix error tool here, like then basically system will give you the information about the error. So whatever the different kind of error the system has encountered, you will able to see that error information. Now here we can see in the error we have the summarized view and we can see what are the error the system has found. So we can see we have the error information that is basically a value for the for the required field description is missing. That means we have basically one field one description field and for that for that like you know inform sorry for that the system unable to find out any value and that field is required and hence system has reached the error right. Apart from that we can see we have one like you know informational message as well. And that something is basically like item is marked as a partial required field validation has been supposed, right? So like that, different different information will be available here. Now, what happened basically depending on the error, you have the some option. You can understand that basically error information here, or in some cases, if you want to email the error. So generally, what happened basically as we discussed earlier. So whenever we are creating the catalog in the Ariba, so we have to collect the information from the supplier. Even though this activity we are not doing as the Ariba consultant, only during that implementation when we have to perform some testing. So for testing purpose, we have to create some catalog in the system and we can do our testing. But generally, like you know, we have to delegate this option to the customer user. We have to provide the training to them and we have to ask them to create the catalog. So in some cases, if you want to like you know that uh, email the error information to supplier, so we have the options here as the email error, email errors. So we can come here and click on the email errors. And once you click on the email errors, so in that case, like you know, you will get a kind of like a chat box, or we can say draft here. And here we have to basically provide the information. So whatever information we have to basically the system has find out, you will be able to see the error information here. And we have to only like uh, specify. A recipient email address like to whom you want to send this error information we can uh, like you know, enter this email information and then we can click on this like you know, send here so once you click on the send then like you know system will send this information to like you know the particular recipient generally we have to do for supplier and apart from that in some cases if you want to do any changes like you know, in the runtime 
so runtime in the sense what is happening like whenever we are uploading the file in the ariba so to create the catalog generally we have to upload the cif file cif 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 file we have to import in the ariba so we will have the information like in the cif file but when the information system will read so system will basically generate a kind of like a you know, form and in that form basically all the information will get stored just like as the application form let me try to show you so in that case what we'll do we have to come here in the edit content tool like we can see we have the option edit content tool so i'll show you the form here itself so edit content tool option is applicable in case you want to update the any information in the runtime so we can come here and click on this edit content tool and once you click on this edit content tool you will able to see the particular error information here right sorry you will be able to see the particular information here now here you will have the options of the edit so here we can see we have the edit option so in some cases if system has encountered any error and you want to basically rectify that uh, error in the runtime mm, that means you want to change the value of that error in the runtime that basically we can do with the help of that edit content tool so we have to come here and we have to click on the edit and once you click on this edit then system will give you this form so this is the form which i was talking about so usually all the information system will store automatically in this form and whatever the field that is here like you know in your system so depending on your system like configuration this form will automatically get updated and the system will store the information like the value here itself so whatever different different values you specify like we can see classification code we can see the information is available here even we can see some other information language so what is what are the language we mention in the file that information we can see lead time or manufacturer url minimum quantity partially specified different different informations are available here even price also we can see and uh, apart from that punch out enable we'll talk about punch out enable we can see punch out enable purchasing unit resource type all the informations are basically available here so what is happening like whenever whenever we are importing the zip file in this ariba to create the catalog the system read the information from the zip file and it will capture the information in this like you know uh, in this form and in this form if you want to make any of the changes in the runtime like let's say for example here we can see we have the false now i want to make it as a true i will come here and i'll maintain the value as a true right so we have the flexibility we can make the changes in the runtime so i can maintain the value here now in the last i'll come here and click on the save so once i click on the save that this information will automatically get updated here even though this information will not get updated like you know that can reflect in that your c template c file so in c file you will have the same kind of information what you added recently so it will only like update the information in the runtime or we can say on the fly in the system itself right so this is basically the other options are available in the ariba to basically work on the any of this like you know that uh, error information now apart from that whatever other options we can see so the other options are similar we can see in our system itself so apart from that we have the other options that is the rebuilder tool so rebuilder tool basically like it's a kind of it's called as that like you know relaxed tool as well so ariba has given a few parameter inside this rebuilder tool and if you want to rebuild it this two information we can basically rebuild it this two information so we have the one option as a classification code and second is a supplier ui so in some cases if you want to basically while creating the catalog as a customer if you want to report any kind of error so in that case we can specify this report error for these two parameter otherwise in some cases if you want to skip the error we can skip the error as well so depending on the inform like options we can choose any sorry depending on the requirement we can choose any of the options here that we can do with the help of the rebuild tool okay now filter rule basically you can filter out some of the information this basically this is very simple in this case we do not have anything now apart from that we have the import tool so with the help of the import tool like you know based on the error you like whatever the error you find out and let's assume you have basically rectified your file and you want to re import your file once again so we have to come here in the import tool and in the import tool you will have the option of the like you know catalog file so we have to basically choose re import the file with the help of the import tool 
and whenever we have to import the file or whenever we have to basically create the catalog in the Ariba. So you will have basically two options here. One option is that we have to import our C template as well as we have we, we have the flexibility we can import image as well. So in some cases, if you want to upload any image for the catalog, that's something also we can do. And for that, Ariba has given this option as well. So we can basically upload any of this image here or any attached image file folder that's something also we can do okay now in the last basically we have the export tool options here so here with the help of the export tool options we can basically export the catalog information so in some cases like you know that if uh, someone has created the catalog but i would like to understand the file format like whatever file he has basically prepared right and i would like to understand the data information as well so what I can do, I can open the catalog and I have to come in this export tool and from export tool, we can basically export the information and we can observe the particular information here. So I will show you that how basically we can export because once again, we have to come here and we'll discuss in detail. Right. So these are something different, different options are Ariba has given here that basically we have to use like whenever we have to basically work on the catalog part now apart from this like whatever the catalog option we can see this catalog options are basically basic catalog functionality this is called as the basic catalog functionality but apart from that ariba has given some advanced catalog functionality as well so in some cases if your customer they want to use the advanced catalog functionality so in that case they have to raise the service request and they can use advanced catalog functionality as well. right now what is basically advanced catalog functionality and in which cases in which scenario customer they have to use like advanced catalog functionality so let me give you a very simple example just for your understanding sometimes what happen like let's assume your customer they are doing some business of that like they are from that uh, uh, some export or import industries or might be you can take the example of that garments industry the fashion industry right now let's assume your customer they are basically selling that uh, one product that is a t-shirt and in this case if you see so you have the catalog item that it is but they want to basically maintain the different different price like you know for the t-shirt depending on the different different parameter even might even you might also seen that in some cases like whenever we are doing some purchasing on the e-commerce side even though we are purchasing the same item same item is that product we are going to purchase the same but whenever we are working on the different parameter like you are trying to get some different size like let's say you have to purchase the t-shirt and you are checking the price on that like uh, Flipkart or Amazon. So you seen that like uh, by default it is showing one price, but you are trying to change this like size, like you are trying to get medium, large, Excel or whatever. So you will see like you know, depending on the size, the price will vary. Even in some cases might, might be depending on the price, the price will be same. Depending on the size, the price will be same. But in other cases, you may see depending on the color, the price is getting changed. So if you want to purchase in the red color, you may see different price. If you want to purchase in the yellow color or white color, you may have the different price itself, right? So that means in this case, if you see, so customer have only one catalog item, that is the T-shirt. But depending on the title, different, different parameter, they are maintaining the different, different price. So if they want to maintain the price based on the color, they can maintain the price, different, different price for same product based on the color. Or if they want to maintain the different price based on the size they can maintain the different price based on the size itself right so in these cases like uh, if the, your customer they have this kind of scenario so in this case they will not be able to use the basic catalog functionality because if they are going to use basic catalog functionality so the, in that case they have to create the different different catalog depending on the parameter like if they are going to maintain the different price based on the color so for each and every color, they have to create the different different color. So if you approach this solution to, to your customer, definitely might be your customer will not accept, right? So in that case, Ariba has given the some advanced catalog functionality that is called as a parametric catalog. So in that case, we have to basically use the parametric catalog. By default, parametric catalog functionality will not be available in the system. Uh, we have to raise the service request to you to enable the parametric catalog right but in other cases like you know that in other cases uh, if you want to enable the parametric catalog so we have to reach out to ariba customer support we have to raise the sr 
and they have to i think they have to enable the catalog contents management system and there the parametric catalog functionality will be enabled and you will have some different different options for the parametric catalog okay so this is just only for information purpose now so these are something just overview about the catalog now in tomorrow session we'll talk about like about the template so first thing how we can find out the like the file like in which template we have to prepare the information and whatever different kind of information we have to provide how we can prepare the information that's something also we will discuss in tomorrow session and in tomorrow session we will talk how we have to create catalog in the ariba with the help of the file so we may not be able to create successfully because our catalog will stuck in the new to buyer but at least that is the last step basically so at least up to that stage we will see how we have to basically work on that particular catalog here all right so that's it for today and we will see that part in the tomorrow session any question any comment all right so that's it for today thanks for your time we'll see you tomorrow thank you so much thanks rohit